hello 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 god's most beautiful and precious people it has been a very very long time i just want to say that i miss you guys and i'm sure that you all have probably been wondering where i've been and what's been going on so um i just wanted to give on and give a quick word it's really a testimony of god's goodness his faithfulness um and his promise to me and my life and i hope to many many more of you out there who is also um praying for a blessing of this nature so um i do pray that this word reaches and touches who whomever is watching this video and whomever god intends for this word to reach and change the hearts and minds and open your eyes to see that god is faithful to his word to his promises and that he loves you dearly so um so i just want to give like um a timeline of this testimony so in April of 2019, God promised me, he told me that he was going to bless us with a, another baby boy. Um, and so between July and August, there were many more prophecies spoken upon my life about the same thing about um, this precious baby boy that God promised me that he would give me, give to me. So in September 2019, God gives me names of the baby boy mm -hmm. what he desired for me to name the baby boy and one of the names were jael which means god shall live and i had a dream in september 29 teen about um jehoiada which is a priest in the bible and so god said that that would be another one of his names and that means knowledge of the lord and so um in October of 2020, I started to have dreams all that month about me being pregnant. And God showed me this beautiful baby boy in one of my dreams, what he would look like, his hair, his skin color, and everything of that nature. Excuse me. I do apologize. So, um, in November of... Um, let me go back. December 2019, um, my fiance and I separated and we had been almost separated for like a year. And so in October of 2020, that's when I had the dream, started having the dreams about me being pregnant and um, God showing me this beautiful baby boy. And so in November of 2020, I fell short and my fiance and I, we fornicated. We had not been around each other in almost a year and so we fell short and i fornicated so in december of 2020 is when i found out that i was pregnant in march of 2021 is when god gave me the confirmation of it being a baby boy so um, when i went to the doctor they confirmed by ultrasound that i was indeed having a precious baby boy and when I tell y'all the excitement, the joy that I experienced um, just from knowing that God was just faithful to his word under the circumstances of me falling short into fornication, um, it just blew my mind. It blew my mind because um, God is a man that he shall not lie, nor the son of man that he shall, rep um, shall repent. So we can trust that when god tells us he's going to do something that he's going to stand on his word and he is going to deliver am i saying that am i condoning sin no i'm not am i making excuses no i'm not am i saying it's okay for you to fornicate or to sin in any other shape way or form no i am not there's no excuse for the sin that came about um at all and I'm not making excuses for that because I want you all to know and understand that we all fall short of the glory of God. We all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And when you fall short, you don't stay there. You acknowledge your sin and you seek forgiveness and have a heart posture of repentance so that God can give you the grace to move forward and strengthen strengthen you to not fall into the same trap or sin. God is forgiving and does not turn his back like man does when we fall slight of his glory no 
he is a God who seeks to redeem, who uh, washes us clean of our sin when we are genuinely repentant and seeking the forgiveness. His forgiveness, true forgiveness from God. He will redeem and restore you. Do not allow the enemy to make you feel worthless or that you your value is lost because it isn't. You're still worthy in the sight of God. You're still worthy in his eyes and he can still use you. There was not one person in the Bible besides his son, Jesus Christ, that was without sin and that God did not use to glorify his name or to draw others to his kingdom. So I want you to know that he can still use you to glorify him and to draw others to Christ and to his kingdom. So know today, if you are struggling to have um, struggling or you have fallen short, God is waiting to restore you. He's waiting to redeem you, to give. So give God your sin and your heart of forgiveness and repentance. And he will turn all things around for your good. He can and will fix all broken things and heal all wounds. Everything you experience is all working for your good because you are called. You are chosen. Get back up. Don't stay in that place. Don't feel like that you are dirty and that God does not want you anymore because that's furthest from the truth. God wants you. He loves you and he wants to restore all things in your life. Get back up and move forward in the will of God. You've got this and God has you. Hold on. He's taking care of you and all things concerning you and all things concerning um. The areas in your life where you have fallen short, where you, you need to be healed, to mend the broken pieces, to restore you back to him, to have that intimate relationship with him, to nurture um, you back to that state of worthiness in his sight. So I just want you guys to know that I love you and I've missed you all very, very much. And I pray that this testimony helps someone to on today. Um, to keep on following after the goodness of God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. So here I am with this precious little boy. You can barely see. But I just want you guys to know that God is so amazing. He's so faithful. And, you know, in my time just um, building and restoring um, and allowing God to redeem me um, from falling short of his glory... God gave me this song um, called The Reintroduction, um, and it's called God Has His Hands on You. And so I'll list it down in the, in the um, description so that you all can listen to this song and know that God will fix all things concerning you. So I pray that you all are well and stay blessed in the Lord and then know that I'm praying for you and that God is with you everywhere that you go. He's with you. He loves you so, so, so dearly. No matter what you've done, no matter who you are, no matter where you are in your life right now, God wants to restore you. He loves you so, so, so very much. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.